Yep, we're still having some fun in PowerPoint today. So in, uh, in the next tip, um, I'm still focused on images and I want to show you how you can use the artistic effects in, uh, in PowerPoint. Not sure if you've ever used that before. In this example of mine, again, I've, uh, I've brought a screenshot in of, uh, of my site and I actually want to plan for new images for my quick links. Now, of course, there's different ways to show quick links on SharePoint. Um, you'll see above there, that's showing it just with an icon, or you can actually show it um, as the tile with, uh, with the actual image. So both of these are normal quick links on, uh, on SharePoint, but uh, definitely a different way to display it. So for me, easiest way you'll see there's the originals in the background. Easiest way is to just uh, I mess around with uh, some images on PowerPoint and see what it is that I want to achieve before uploading the images on SharePoint. And of course, it's a way of having fun. This uh, picture effects you can obviously use for more than just images for SharePoint. Um, definitely a great way to um, style and change uh, your images that you use as well. So in this an example, I've added uh, four images here um, to the bottom of my page. Now, I, uh, I do want to do something a little bit different with them. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to select the image. If I then go to format, you'll see that there's artistic effects there. I'm going to open up the artistic effects options on the right hand side because that actually just uh, makes it a bit easier for me to do some cool stuff. So when I then go to artistic effects, you'll see that there's a drop down. And in this drop down, I can then actually um, choose different uh, styles that I'd like to use. So I'm going to just pick one of the styles. I'll have to zoom in a little bit for you to be able to see that, but uh, this specific style you'll see actually does a bit of a grain um, on the image. So um, it's called cement <laughs> and it actually makes it look more like a cement wall, doesn't it? Now, um, when you've selected something, I can actually set the transparency on it as well. So transparency would be how badly the effect um, applies to your image, obviously. So you can apply it to be much harsher or, uh, or less. And this one even has different options, uh, crack spacing. I mean, that's quite cool, actually. This uh, cement option is actually pretty cool. I've definitely used these uh, these effect options a lot, even on uh, banners and, uh, and profile pics, believe it or not. So to do something a bit different, um, let's move on to the next image and see what there is that's cool that we can do with that one. So in this one, I'm going to pick uh, one of my favorites, which is this uh, paint strokes one. And it does a bit of a dark background to it again. I can change um, how much that actually applies to this image. And um, of course, there's a reset button where you can reset it at any time and say, nope, that's not what I want to do with it. Um, and that's like undo, um, of course. So let's have a look at some of the other ones. Um, something I also use quite often is the texturizer. So the texturizer brings in a very material-like uh, look to the image. So also a cool one to use. This, uh, this really works well if you have images that might be just a little bit out of focus or the quality is not that good, then I normally apply some um, artistic effects to it to just take the focus off the fact that the picture isn't perfect. So the artistic effects definitely um, quite a cool thing that you can do um, to then uh, make changes to your uh, images. There's quite a couple of them to, uh, to actually pick from and some really, really cool designs. So once uh, I've then made uh, changes to that image of mine, I can then right click and I can save this as a new image that I can use um, wherever it is that I wanted to use the image. I would, however, in this example, I've made the images quite small because I'm, I'm testing the, the spacing on my SharePoint page. But um, so keep your shift in when you drag the image bigger to keep aspect ratio, but I would actually just drag it bigger again before I actually save this as an image to use um, in some other place. So definitely a great thing to use is the artistic effects. I think you'll have some serious loads of fun um, using this. And uh, as I said, great uh, thing to use as well if, uh, if the images that you have is just not great quality or if you want to try and uh, do a different style or something. I hope you'll enjoy that and uh, we'll chat soon.